Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you an open source Twitter client, an alternative to the ones developed by the people at Twitter themselves. So as you can see here, I've got my virtual machine running the Android OS and um, I've got the Google Play Store up. Now, uh, I thought I might show you not only how to install it, but some of the features and how you know what it's like to set up. Um, I decided to have a look for an open source alternative Twitter client um, and to see if there were any ones that were actually better than the in-house developed one. And uh, this is pretty much the fruits of my uh, my search. Now, uh, this is used by still quite a lot of people, and um, it's a lot more customizable, and it, it aims to appeal to a pretty broad range of Twitter users, everyone from the power user to the casual user. Uh, also, from the initial test that I've done, it does use less battery power than the uh, default Twitter client. However, not really enough to justify switching from one client to the other uh, just on that alone. Uh, it is, of course, open source, which is definitely my preferred um, sort of license for software. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's take a look at the install process and the setup process, and you know what it can do. Okay, so I've got Twitter here, which is. Um, set up in a virtual machine so it's not actually a mobile phone as indicated by of course the mouse here um, okay so what you can do you can easily find it by going onto the Google Play Store and just type in Twitter and you just uh, that'll take you directly to the Twitter client won't it um, we need to actually search for Twitter and then click the the one with the mic the um, magnifying glass next to it now of course Twitter uh, by Twitter Inc comes up uh, first, along with a few other um, proprietary clients, I think. Um, but if you go to 250 more, you don't have to scroll down too far before you will see Twitter for Twitter. I'm assuming you have to say it in like a French accent. That's kind of like like their thing, maybe. I don't know. Um, okay, but let's uh, let's get on and install it. And as you can see, it is rated. Uh, it's got a hundred thousand plus downloads, and it's rated at pretty much four and a half stars. Um, and it talks about some of the features that it has. So as you can see, it's reasonably well rated. Uh, the majority of people rating it five stars, but uh, four stars um, is, is a strong second place. Um, so here are a few people, of course, uh, talking about it as well. I always like to take a look at the uh, the reviews when picking out a twit uh, when picking out any kind of application to use on the Google Play Store. And here is just a list of features. Uh, themes, customizable, and customizability is kind of what it's aiming to do. It's also got filters, uh, you can mute unwanted tweets, and uh, multiple account support. That's very useful, of course, if you do have multiple accounts. And of course, one of the more important uh, features for me is free, open source, no ads, forever. Okay, so um, let's give it an install. Let's go. So it's uh, it's only four point twenty one uh, megabytes, which is uh, you know it's about as small as you can really expect for a Twitter client. So anyway, we are up and running. So we can open the Twitter client, and of course it asks you for your username and password. Just as a bit of a heads up here, guys, I've of course changed my Twitter password for the sole purpose of this video. So um, obviously logging in with it won't. Um, won't work by the time this video gets published. But anyway, signing in. And uh, then once you signed in, it gives you the old welcome screen. Would you like to configure it now? Well, yes, let's have a look. Of course, you can import your settings. I don't know how well that works because I've only really uh, been using this for a few days now. But um, yep, you can choose your theme. You can choose the color of your theme. Uh, what color should we have? What color should we have? Like a nice rouge, deep red, deep red for some sort of like kind of classy, classy type kind of look. Um, and you've got a choice of you've got a choice of three themes out of the box. Um, this application does support add-ons as well. Now I haven't really experimented with the add-ons because, quite frankly, there are enough features on this as it is. I am not a power Twitter user. I would identify really as a kind of casual, maybe intermediate uh, Twitter user. It's a good way. And if you guys want to like a direct line to me, my Twitter handle, of course, is right below, uh, right below me here, and that's probably like the the way you'll get the fastest response from me, um, because of course, because of YouTube, uh, the YouTube app, and and YouTube and Google Plus being clunky and terrible at the moment, there isn't really a good app on the uh, Android on my mobile device which can allow me to reply to comments. So, but there is, um, as you as you can see here, for Twitter. So, just a thought. Um, okay, so uh, let's add some tabs. 
So I'm not going to add too many tabs because this, of course, is my Twitter account and I don't want to give uh, too much information away. But I can give you my home uh, timeline and, of course, you can select an account. So you can have multiple tabs with multiple home timelines for different accounts. Um, you can also um, just basically have almost any feed of, of um, info that you can imagine. You can have trends, you can have messages, you can have mentions, favorites, um, you can um, users tweet. So I think you can like select a user. Um, you can have a list timeline as well. That's about it. We'll just I'll just add the one tab in. But uh, uh, of course, that's not really how you you know supposed to do it. Okay. So anyway, nickname only. Lots of display features here. Most of which the default is by and large fine. Um, uh, the one that I do select is compact cards, simply because. Um, you can just get more uh, tweets on a screen really more than anything else if you obviously have some kind of uh, if, you, if your eyesight's not really up to par then obviously you might want uh, larger cards but uh, uh, but really again that's all a personal choice and here are some useful hints uh, you can select an account you can quote uh, very easily on this uh, you can use filters and you can use a rate limit so you can um, uh, you know if you if you encounter uh, if you encounter rate limit problems um, then you can obviously adjust your rate, um, the rate that Twitter actually uh, draws from its uh, draws from the Twitter feed. Okay, so now Twitter, Twitter is ready for use. Okay, so we've got our classy red theme, and of course, you drag down to uh, to populate this. So as you can see, this is my Twitter feed in all its glory, um, and then all you got to do is just click on a card, and uh, it'll take you to it. Uh, you can also uh, click on the uh, triple dot here and you can quote you can retweet you can share you can copy uh, quoting is particularly useful as well because it obviously gives a context to something that you might be replying to or something that you might want to share um, with your own followers so um, here is like a list of the more um, sort of uh, all of the features really and um, yeah you can uh, set the aesthetics, you can set the functionality of it, you can set the tabs, um, you can uh, choose how you interact with different groups of people. Um, it gives you a lot more features than the uh, default Twitter client, um, and it also is very, very uh, user-friendly and easy to set up. And of course, it being open source is uh, is a preference of mine, and I know a preference of a lot of yours as well. So again, yeah, this is now the Twitter client that I've used as of a few days ago, um, and uh, I haven't really looked back since. The Twitter client is really just a reiteration of what you can do on its website. This adds a few more functions. Of course, with the Twitter website, when you look at it on a desktop machine, you can add in uh, Google Chrome or Firefox add-ons, which change the aesthetic and function of the site there. You can't really do that with the Twitter application without reinst without installing a different uh, Twitter app, um, namely something like Twitter. So it's certainly something that I would recommend you guys at least check out. Like I say, it's around 4.21 megabytes, is it? So it's uh, it's not exactly going to take up your uh, hard drive space, and um, and there's nothing to stop you from using it alongside uh, the default Twitter client for some you know for a period of time. If you, uh, if you need some time to adjust to it, get used to it, or, or if you're not sure. Um, but it is certainly something that I'd recommend. And um, yeah, I, um, you can find it on the Google Play Store. So that's about it from me today. If you guys are um, familiar with it, or if you tried it out, please let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That's about it from me today. Thank you very, very much for watching. Until next time, I have been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care now.